have a lot to say. So today I want to talk about how to make how I make my staple salad. It's a kale salad. It's inspired by Chick-fil-A Superfood. It's extra nutritious, delicious, and healthy, a healthy portion of the meal. Stay tuned and I'll show you how to make this easy to make, very nutritional salad. Okay, so here's what I use to make my delicious kale salad. I have organic kale from Aldi. I sometimes use almond, but these are organic walnuts, very delicious. Um, for extra flavor, it's I added a onion, um, organic onion. And this is a requirement. Without the dry cranberries, the salad would not be good to me at all. So this, if I'm going to make this salad, I have to have the cranberries. And these are organic cranberries. I will sometimes, depending on if it's a meal, like this is all I'm eating, I will add more things like uh, broccoli. Um, I would add a lot more spinach and sometimes a half of a, you know, or a portion of a green apple. And it just depends on whether this is my meal or just a snack. And this is kind of just like a lunchtime snack for me, so I didn't put that much in salad. And that is what is needed to make this simple and yet delicious, nutritious kale salad. Okay, so let's get started. The first time that I tried a kale salad, it was repulsive to me. Because I found out there's a special way to, to marinate the kale to make it tasty to me. So the first thing that I do is I cut my kale up into little bites. And this is going to be, I'm going to start out with about uh, two, cup, two to three cups of kale. So I'm just going to cut these up like so, so that they're little um, chewable bites. Kale's a very hearty green, very strong, flavorful green. I'm not going to have you watch me cut all these up, but cut them up like this. And I'll be back with you in a few moments once I have these cut up. Okay, I've just about got all of my kale cut up, but just in case you missed it, I take a handful of kale like this, I sort of ball it up like this, and I cut it in little bitty bite size cuts, and also I cut up the stem and everything. It's not going to matter. Um, and so this is what the end result looks like and this is about two about two cups of kale but you'll see what it looks like once I marinate it it's going to shrink down in size so give me a moment to get the next ingredient together but really all you need for this salad is kale but I decided to put a little organic um, baby spinach. Got that from Aldi. Got the kale from Aldi too, in it too. So I do it the same way. I ball it up and I begin to cut it. Someone is probably thinking this is a very disgusting combination and a very disgusting salad, but I promise you it's going to taste absolutely delicious. So until I get all those cut all up nicely, and I'll put a very little bit of kale in there. But again, this is about two cups of kale, some um, baby spinach. And the next thing is my onion. And for the onion, I do these in very small slices like this, very thin slices. And I cut up, you know, a few onion. Um, you try to do it where you can see it, <coughs> like this, and I cut me several onion, and I'm going to cut these off camera, give me just a moment, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, here go, here is my onion cut up, it really adds flavor to the salad, so you might want to add some more onion, I don't know how many, what the, what the amount of this is. But the next thing that I do with the onion is I cut them into the salad like this in smaller pieces. But trust me, after the dressing and this is marinated, you're going to be searching for these onions. So I cut them up once again, very small portions into the salad. 
and I'm going to finish cutting these up off camera and I will be back with you. All right, it's time for the next step in this process. Here are my onion, all mushed up inside of there. And neither one of these dressings tastes good. This is um, organic balsamic uh, dressing. And this is creamy Italian. There's nothing creamy about it, but it's a uh, creamy Italian dressing. Either one of these, um, well, it doesn't have to be this brand, but one of these flavors will taste absolutely delicious in the salad. And so what I do is I take it, and I'm going to choose this one today, my uh, balsamic vinegar, I believe, and I'm going to just genu gen generously douse this salad in this dressing. And let me just let you see. And it's important that you don't want to put too much dressing in the salad, but you certainly want to put enough so that it marinates, it, you know, it marinates the kale. And so you, if you can remember how it, well, I'll show you what it starts out looking like, and then I'll show you what it looks like after I have marinated it for about 10 minutes. And that's just for me to leave it on the counter with the top on it and allow the dressing to, you know, break it down and soften the lettuce. But honestly, I normally use this one. It's very delicious, but it's not cold. It wasn't in the refrigerator, so I selected this one. So anyway, here it is. You see it all shiny. And I'm going to leave this here for about 10 minutes with the top on it and let the dressing break down or, you know, soften the leaves of the kale. And then I will be back with you. Okay, so it's been about actually 20 minutes, but I would say no more than, no less than 10 minutes to let this um, kale marinate in the dressing. In the refrigerator or on the counter, it doesn't matter. The kale is very healthy and can, and does not easily wilted. But <clears throat> you see that the kale has like shrunk in, in, in quantity. It's not, it's, it's starting to shrink. So that's how you know when the marinade is done and all of the dressing. So off camera, my final touches is walnuts. And I started off with the whole walnut like this. And I just break them up over the salad like this. And I have a whole bowl of them. I did about 10. And break those all up in there. And this is the coup de gras. This is the requirement. This is the final say so. So I get a healthy portion of cranberries. And I put those in. They are a requirement. They are delicious. And when I encounter one with the salad, it is absolutely, I don't know what to say, but good. So I add salt and pepper um, to taste. And that's it. This is my superfood salad. And someone made a comment that I don't taste my food. So let me go ahead. Oh, this is the final result. Very beautiful salad. And let me go ahead and mix this up. And taste it. This is absolutely delicious. Hopefully, we will try this recipe. If you do, please make comments in the comment section. This is another day in my healing journey. Thanks for watching.